good morning uh, we see another uh, problem in uh, rectangular lamina okay we see the question in this so what is given in this question is the front weave of a rectangular lamina of sides 13 to 20 mm is a square of 20 mm side so that's it they have given only this thing the front weave of a rectangular lamina 30 mm into 20 is a square of 20 mm draw the projections and determine the inclination of the surface of the lamina with hp and vp so in this problem they have not mentioned either uh, any of the inclination to the hp or to the vp they have mentioned only the second view second view will be in square okay so that uh, that is occur only in the front view so this problem will be proceed with respect to the differently so i'm just I'm going to show it how it is so if you consider if you consider this is your first quadrant so the play lamina will be placed like this okay lamina will be placed like this and the inclinations okay the inclinations what we give okay so what we give it will be like uh, from this uh, from this end say it is like this so it will be fixed to the one end in the first position the second inclination like this okay so the inclinations we can see only with respect to the side width for that we will be drawing an x1 y1 line okay so x1 y1 line will be drawn in this and we are going to find out okay so this problem will be proceeding like they say just uh, show it how it is vp hp so here we draw okay rectangle of dimension 30 to 20 so the first view second view get it here so uh, in order to find out the inclinations what we do we will be drawing x1 y1 line here and we'll be drawing 45 degree angle line and then projecting it here we get the angles okay so that's how the problem proceeds okay So in this first we construct a rectangle of dimension 30 into 20 that is three boxes 30 into 20 okay so this is a dash b dash c dash d dash so the top we will get it on, on this x y line only okay, a b d f c now the second v is a square okay square of dimension 20 so we will construct that that is 2 by 2 box okay so we can show the dimensions here So this is 30 and this is 20 okay and also 20 so 20 so this is a dash b dash c dash and d dash so here in we have to find out the angle of inclinations okay so how we find out here is we will be drawing in here uh, x1 y1 line okay x1 y1 line and we are going to project this side views okay project this side views okay how we do it like uh, the side view of this uh, lamina first position will be lying on this x1 y1 line okay so that's what the side view of this first position so what we get here is a double dash d double dash b double dash and c double dash this is what the side view of the first position similarly for the second position so what we do to get the side view here is so projecting here projecting here so we know that so this is what the first lamina by inclining it how much angle we don't know we're getting a square of 20 by 20 right so this is what has been inclined like this so it has been inclined like this say this is our first quarter means say this is our rectangular lamina this has been inclined like this so right it has been inclined in such a way that we are getting a square of 20 so whatever the inclination is there we can show it in the side view okay, how to show it in the side view means so say 
this is what the side view of the first position a double dash g double dash b dash a right so this is what the side view so this side view we are going to incline it with the help of arc okay with the help of arc so here exactly at this point we are getting the side view of the second position okay so this is what the side view of the second position okay so now we can get the angle here so so this is what the angle for the both the inclinations so we can write down this so the one angle of inclination here it is 42 degree and this is 40 degree now we have to draw the top view of this so what we do for that we will be drawing an angle line here 45 degree we have marked angle line so we are projecting it downward we get the Here we get it A, D, B, C. So this is what we completed with the problem. Okay. So in this position, first we have drawn this one and top view. Second after that we have drawn this one. Okay. Then after that we have drawn an uh, x1, y1 line to draw the side views. The side view of this it is falling on the x1 line. And the side view of this it is falling here by taking this it's because we are inclining this in such a manner that we are getting the top view. So that's why we are inclining it by means of an arc here will be showing the direction of the arrow mark okay inclining it by cutting the arrow we are getting the side view of this position so by doing it we get the both the angles for the angle of inclination to hp angle of inclination to vp then the top view of this position we are getting by drawing an 45 degree angle line okay so for drawing a 45 degree angle line we are getting the top view of this position